To have Nanite Tessellation and Runtime Virtual Textures work together, you need to tell the Runtime Virtual Texture to also render in Displacement. Create a new Virtual Texture and set the Virtual Texture content to Displacement. Make sure you have your Runtime Virtual Textures volume bounds set up, and if the Virtual Textures aren't displaying properly, then make sure that they're also assigned to the Landscape Actor itself. You can now open the Object Blend Material function, create a new Virtual Texture sample, and add the Displacement Virtual Texture to it. Connect the Displacement output into the Displacement input. We can now go into the Landscape Massing Material, open the Collapse RVT node, create a Displacement channel, and connect the displacement channels together. Now, Nanite Tessellation will work with the Runtime Virtual Textures. For a more in-depth breakdown of our Runtime Virtual Texture setup, have a look at our video that is dedicated to Runtime Virtual Textures and how to set it up. We also have another video that covers Nanite Landscapes and some general troubleshooting guides. Our shaders are very versatile and highly customizable. It is packed with all sorts of features and everything is optimized and cheap to render. So I do highly recommend also checking out our video which breaks down our prop massive material. You can copy my RVT settings for some good results, and in case you run into any issues, you can increase the megabytes on the transient pools. This is also covered in our Runtime Virtual Textures Guide.